Hi hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about Resident Evil 8 Village. So Resident Evil 8 changes the formula and it seems that many didn't like that. I'm not in that group, I like the formula. But I agree that it needed some better thinking, but I still liked it. So Resident Evil 7 was a survival horror game. It was unique in the series. The sequel isn't a survival horror game. This time it's a puzzle focused action shooter. You don't run away because you don't have much power, this time you have firepower, and lots of it, because the two main gameplay elements in this game are puzzles and shooting sections. Puzzles are diverse, but many complain that the hints are too obvious for the puzzles. I still like them nonetheless, but I agree that some tips were really obvious. But my complaint about the puzzles is that many of them are put just for the sake of a puzzle. They don't seem relevant to the action. And this video gamey moments break up the immersion. I know that it's a video game and I shouldn't complain about a video game that it's too video gamey. But compared to the other games, I was constantly reminded that I'm in a video game. Also puzzles were too frequent. I mean even the inventory is a puzzle. But I can't fully complain about the puzzles, because some of them were really creative and I had a lot of fun playing those puzzle sections. The other section of the game, the shooting, is nice. I mean, it feels good. You get a good deal of guns, which you can upgrade, you can find ammo or buy it or craft it yourself. And it's interesting that the more you progress in the game, the more it turns into a run and gun shooter than a horror game. The action is epic, I don't regret it, but it's not what you would expect from the game. I mean, people after playing Resident Evil 7 expected another horror game. But this one isn't a scary game, it's just a creepy game. Meaning that the looks are creepy but you won't get scared in the game. You have lots of bullets to shoot monsters and it feels awesome. Even Ethan is a badass character here. As I said, I like what the game has become. A third part of the game is the exploration. You explore a Romanian village. And as a Romanian myself, I can tell you that this is not a Romanian village. It looks Romanian-ish at best, but it's not what village homes look like. Not even how they looked like back in the day or ever. They look plausible, but aren't fully Romanian looking. There are American looking cars, we had our own car brand back in the days, or at least back in the day the village in Resident Evil is portrayed. And there are some elements that look very Romanian-like, like for example the pots or the plates on the walls, and food names are Romanian, but they still look randomly picked. Most Romanians don't eat sarmale made out of fish, only a very little part of Romanians do and they are all the way back in the south of the country. But the village in Resident Evil is clearly somewhere in a mountain area, which is not in the south of the country. And the rest of the country eats their sarmale with pork meat, not with fish. But you can explain why the Duke has sarmale with fish with a the theory. I mean, I just wanted to tell you about my culture, not really complain about the game. So yeah, this isn't really Romania in the game, it's only Romanian-ish. But I can't hold it against it. Foreigners usually get stuff wrong about Romania. But the gameplay is solid. It's a high quality, big budget, AAA game. I like the variety in the gameplay. It even has a survival horror section, which is, in my opinion, the best part of the game. It has sections where you run from Lady Dimitrescu, but you can see her so easily that she's never a real threat. I mean, you see her and avoid her. That's it. And in Rusty Game is pretty much a run and gun shooter that gets to more intense running and gunning the more you progress in the game. Also, I don't know why they didn't call Lady Dimitrescu Dumitrescu. I mean, Dumitrescu is a stereotypical name in Romania. Dimitrescu isn't. I mean, the name doesn't have copyright, I don't know why they made this decision with the name. Probably they just wanted a name that sounds Romanian but also stands out and is unique. Anyway, the game is really good, I liked it a lot. And I will replay it, so if you have the same taste as me, 
I recommend it to you.